Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the childbearing of the Holy Virgin graciously revealed the radiance of your glory to the world, grant, we pray, that we may venerate with integrity of faith the mystery of so wondrous an incarnation and always celebrate it with due reverence through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Judges. There was a certain man from Zorah of the clan of Danides, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and had borne no children. An angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Though you are barren and had no children, yet you will conceive and bear a son. Now then, be careful to take no wine or strong drink and to eat nothing unclean. As for the son, you will conceive and bear. No razor shall touch his head, for this boy is to be consecrated to God from the womb. It is he who will begin the deliverance of Israel from the power of the Philistines. The woman went and told her husband, A man of God came to me. He had the appearance of an angel of God, terrible indeed. I did not ask him where he came from, nor did he tell me his name. But he said to me, You will be with child and will bear a son. So take neither wine nor strong drink and eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be consecrated to God from the womb until the day of his death. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew up and the Lord blessed him. The spirit of the Lord stirred him, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safe, safety, for you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. My mouth shall be filled with, with your praise, and I will sing your glory. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. O God, I will tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth. And till the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. Alleluia, alleluia. A root of Jesse's stem, sing of God's love for all his people. Come to save us without delay. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, glory to you, o Lord. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the priestly division of Abijah. His wife was from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both were righteous in the eyes of God, observing all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and both were advanced in years. Once they were serving as priests, he was serving as priest in his division's turn before God, according to the practice of the priestly service. 
he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord to burn incense. Then when the whole assembly of the people were praying outside at the hour of the incense offering, the angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was troubled by what he, by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayers have been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and shall name him John, and he will have the joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, and even from his mother's womb he will turn away turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers toward children and it is obedient to the understanding of the righteous to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Then Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel. Who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. But now you will be speechless and unable to talk until the day these things take place. Because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled at their proper time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he was unable to speak to them and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them, but remained mute. Then, when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at the time when he was seen fit to take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> the mystery of God. You know, one of those um, Christian songs which I uh, like is, Our God is an awesome God. You probably heard of it. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. It's a beautiful song because it also ta uh, it also expresses that recognition that God is awesome and tremendous the majesty of God and we know that in the history of humanity we go all the way back uh, to the story of creation God has manifested this awesome presence and in many instances people would not recognize and would not understand that presence uh, for example uh, in the story of you know of uh, you know, Abraham, he was old, around 100, the scripture says, 100 years old. And suddenly the Lord told him, well, you know what? You will be a father of many nations. Abraham would probably say, oh, Lord, come on. <laughs> uh, a father of many nations, 100, I don't even have a son. Um, and many miracles. And yet, you know, initially the, the reaction was kind of disbelief, but also I think it's really realizing that you are in the presence of a very awesome God. You know, when uh, same thing with Moses. When Moses was called by the Lord and told him, you know what, I am sending you. Uh, take my people out of slavery from Egypt. He probably was saying, Lord, you are telling a shepherd. <laughs> I can tell the sheep to follow me. But the whole Israelites, I don't think they will even follow me. And yet we know from that initial sense of disbelief and that awesomeness of what God is trying to accomplish, eventually all these people realized you just have to trust in God. Abraham trusted in God, a hundred years old, Sarah was 90 years old. They had a baby. Well, at least uh, we don't know exactly how they counted years back then. Maybe their year was just three months. But they were both advanced in years. Same thing with the gospel today. 
Zechariah and Elizabeth, both advanced in years. They probably were saying, well, oh, thank you, Lord, for it's almost like, you know, if you are the bride and you're waiting for the limo to pick you up and then the limo arrived like a week later, uh, would you say, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Finally, you're here. Um, I'm sure Zechariah and Elizabeth said, well, thank you, Lord, you know, but too great a miracle, but too late. <laughs> a little too late. Uh, you could have given us John when we were like in our 20s. We would still be able to see our grandchildren. And yet again, uh, look at all these historical uh, biblical figures, how they responded. How they responded always with faith and trust. Abraham, Moses, first reading talks about the birth of, of Samson, one of the uh, great figures in the Old Testament, and then, of course, the gospel today. God is capable of performing mysterious and tremendous miracles. We might be surprised, but let us allow God to surprise us to surprise us of what he is capable of doing. But he is simply asking us to trust, to believe. And I think that the response to this is <clears throat> very appropriate, you know, uh, with both the first reading and the gospel of the miracle that is happening in the first reading and the gospel today. The miraculous birth of Samson in the Old Testament and, of course, the miraculous birth of John the Baptist in the New Testament. The response is, my mouth shall be filled with your praise. My mouth shall be filled with your praise. There are many things that we will never understand why. And yet, we are challenged. Let our mouths be filled with praise. Not with doubt. Not with doubt. But always with praise. Because in God's perfect time, as I have said in the past God will perform this miracle for us. I know uh, all of us have been praying for this miracle in the past few months uh, because of the pandemic, but we know God is capable of doing that. The other day, we had a snowstorm in New York. Um, I'm saying this because they say there are no similar snowflakes. Every snowflake is different. Could you imagine how many millions of, snow, of snowflakes are there and yet no two similar snowflakes? The same thing, I'm, you know, coming from the Philippines, uh, we eat rice every day, three times a day, in fact, sometimes five times a day. Uh, for many people, most of them would simply categorize rice as white rice, black rice, yellow rice, and brown rice. But in fact, there are more than 40,000 varieties of rice. How did this happen? Again, the answer is because our God is an awesome God. Our God is capable of doing that. And so when we're talking about a miracle, for example, in relation to the pandemic, will God be capable of doing that? The answer is, well, if he can create 40,000 varieties of rice, if he can create millions and millions of shapes of snowflakes, I think he's more than capable of giving us a miracle. All you have to do is trust. Trust in the power of God. Let God surprise us of what he's capable of doing. Zechariah and Elizabeth realized that. They had faith. They had trust in God. And hopefully when we receive all the blessings and miracles that God performs in our lives, we repeat exactly what the psalm today says. My mouth shall be filled with praise. My mouth shall be filled with praise. And I hope, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm sure um, we spend sleepless nights sometimes asking the Lord, Lord, why? Why is it that, you know, you are not answering my prayers? I don't know if we also spend sleepless nights asking the Lord, 
Lord, why? Why do you always answer all my prayers? Why is it every time I pray, you always answer my prayers? Do we also spend sleepless night praising and thanking God for that? Or we only spend sleepless night questioning God why our, our prayers are not easily answered? For Zechariah and Elizabeth, it took years. For Abraham, for the Israelites to be freed, it took years. But yet, they believed in the power of God. Same thing for us. The mystery, the awesome, the awesomeness, and the tremendous power of God is among us. That is what Christmas is all about. So again, we pray in our Mass today for that gift of faith, the same faith that the parents of Samson had, the first reading, the same faith that Zechariah and Elizabeth had, trusting that God is capable of performing tremendous miracles in our lives. All we have to do is trust. And hopefully, as God performs tremendous miracles in our lives, as we recognize all this awesome manifestation of God's presence in our lives, let our lips be always be filled with praise for the God who is so awesome and wonderful doing everything for us and we say all for the greater glory of God my lips are filled with praise let us now approach the throne of our loving father and offer our petitions to him and let the response be Lord hear our prayer For the church, may the Lord look graciously upon her needs as she prepares for the coming of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For the world, may the promise of this Advent season be a guiding light for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For couples dealing with infertility, may the Lord fill them with love and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our Lord. prayer. For the educators in our community, may truth, goodness, and beauty be their guide in teaching their students. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those with physical, spiritual, or mental illness, especially Georgie Ritter, Giselle Adivilas, Delieva, and Loy Pastaniano, let us pray. Uh, that God may bring them healing and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the deceased members of our families, especially Angelo Gunta, Gaspar Sanacor, William Thompson, Carol Guarino, and Mary Rose Brosnan, let us, may the love of Christ welcome them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today we pray in a very special way for Richard Klossig, Anthony Leperino, and William Thompson from this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us gathered in this celebration, for ourselves, for those who ask for prayers, those whom we promise to pray for, Again, we pray for all your prayer intentions and prayer requests that you post on our social media account. We pray for an end to the pandemic and for all the intentions that we hold dear in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God in heaven, we ask that you hear our prayers, that we make this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Blessed are the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will be calm, our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of the church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we lay upon your altars, that what we bring, despite our weakness, may be sanctified by your power, through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, O Jesus, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, O Lord. For in the feast of this all filled mystery, though invisible in our own divine in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullest of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, for every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we are always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. For everyone at home, we greet each other with the peace of Christ. Peace to everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us recite our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we give thanks, Almighty God, for these gifts you have bestowed, graciously arousing as we pray, the desire for those yet to come, that we may welcome the nativity of our Savior and honor it with minds made pure. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Did you know your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know your baby boy has come to make you? This child that you've delivered will soon deliver.